Hi everybody, today's focus, I am testing the Clorox disinfecting wet mopping cloths to see how well they remove bacteria from my floor. I was just shopping around Target and I stumbled upon these Clorox disinfecting mopping cloths and I figured I would give them a test and see how well they work in my home. So I picked up the package, I started reading it, and I noticed right away it says Fitz Swiffer Sweeper Mop Heads, which is fantastic because I have a Swiffer, so I don't have to buy a new mop head in order to try out these mopping cloths. The Clorox mopping cloths say they are bleach-free, safe on finished wood, laminate, and glazed tile. In order to test how well these Clorox disinfecting wet mopping cloths work, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna take a Petri dish just like this guy here, and I'm gonna label it A, B, and C. I'm gonna take some sterile swabs and swab my floor. I'm gonna put that sample on the section labeled B for before. Then I'm going to mop my floors using my Swiffer mop with the Clorox mop pad. And according to their instructions, which state, these are hard to read, really small, to clean, disinfect, and sanitize floors, attach the cloth to the sweeper head, mop the floor, use enough cloths for the floor to remain visibly wet for 10 seconds to sanitize and four minutes to disinfect. Let air dry, no rinsing required. Okay, well that's great. So that's 10 seconds for bacteria to be removed. That's fantastic. After it dries, I'll take a sample again and place that on the Petri dish in the section labeled A for after. C is my control, nothing's going to go there. So let's see how well these Clorox disinfecting wet mopping cloths remove bacteria from my floor.
Now for some results. Sample number one from my mud room. In the before section, we can see some bacteria there. We don't see a ton of bacteria, not compared to what we usually see on like my toilet rim when I'm doing bacteria tests, but we can still see some bacteria. And in the after section, there is no bacterial growth at all. The Clorox wet mopping cloths did a great job at removing the bacteria from my mudroom. Sample number two in my mudroom. In the before section, we can see some bacteria. And in the after section, there is none. The Clorox wet mopping cloths did an excellent job at removing the bacteria from my mudroom. Sample number one from my kitchen floor. In the before section, we really did not get much bacteria at all on my kitchen floor. So the after section, there's still maybe one bacterial colony there. So I don't think I can use this as a good representation for testing these wet mopping pads. Sample number two from my kitchen floor. In the before section, we can see a few uh, colonies there. And in the after section, there are none. Again, this sampling is a little weak. There's not a lot of bacteria there in, to begin with. So I'm not really certain I even want to consider these results just because it was so few bacteria in the beginning for both my kitchen floor tests. I do want to say I retested my kitchen floor two times uh, because I was curious as to, well, perhaps maybe I just didn't swab well. My kitchen floor just didn't happen to have a lot of bacteria there for testing on all of the days that I tested it. So we're just going to leave these results here at saying they're kind of inconclusive for removing bacteria in my kitchen since I really wasn't able to get a large sample of bacteria to even be tested. Sample number one from my bathroom. In the before section we can see a lot of bacteria and we can see different types of bacteria as well. And in the after section, there were about half a dozen small, tiny bacterial colonies there. So we can see a visible decrease from the before to the after. The Clorox wet mopping cloth does a great job at removing bacteria from my bathroom floor. Sample two from my bathroom floor. In the before section, we can see a lot of bacteria. This is a good sampling of bacteria because we can see different types of bacteria as well. And in the after section, I just had two small bacterial colonies growing. So the Clorox wet mopping cloths did a great job removing bacteria from my bathroom floor. Overall, the Clorox wet mopping cloths did a pretty good job of removing the bacteria from my home in places where I had bacteria to start with. One thing I really like about these cloths is that they fit right on my Swiffer mop, so that made it really easy for me to test these out. I didn't have to purchase any extra mop um, attachments or mop heads at all to test these. The scent on them is rain clean, and I don't really care for the scent at all. Um, if you watch my previous videos, you know that sometimes these chemically type scents uh, bother me. I cough a bit from them. I found this to be a bit strong. I guess your typical Clorox type smell. It didn't linger very long, um, but it is a very strong scent uh, when you're mopping with them. So personally, in my home, I don't use these disposable type wet mopping pads when I'm cleaning my home. I have a lot of floor in my house. And so I would have to go through probably this entire pack. How many are in here? 12. 12 in here to do just my downstairs. Actually, might not even get through my downstairs. And so I don't think it's economical to use these pads or any other wet mop pads in my home. However, I would reserve using these disinfecting wet mopping cloths for places where I really want to make sure there's no bacteria. Let's say that someone is sick in my home and, and we have an accident on the floor in the bathroom. That would be a time when I would bring out disposable mop pads, especially ones like this that I see can remove bacteria, especially in my bathroom. When I'm mopping my home, I prefer to use things like the Joy Moop Mop, the Oceder Spin Mop, or the Norwex Wet Mop, and I can put links to those videos that I've done on those in the description below if you're interested in seeing some other flooring videos. But overall, I think the Clorox disinfecting wet mopping cloths do a great job at removing the bacteria in my home. And I would continue to use them, like I said, in a place in my home where I feel there was like a large uh, population of bacteria or probably viruses too, um, bathroom, or let's say I dropped some raw chicken on the floor, that might be when I would grab these disinfecting cloths. 
If there is a product that you would like me to test, do me a favor and put it in the comment section and I will add it to my viewer suggestion list. My suggestion list is very long, but I love reading what my viewers want to see. Because if I see a product that keeps coming up over and over and over again, then I know I should probably bump that up to the top of my line when I'm testing products or you can mail me something. My mailbox address is in the description below. Just do me a favor and send me an email. My email address is also in the description below so that I know it's from you and so that I know to go check my mailbox. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll also put a link in the description to my playlist of other floor cleaning products that I have tested. Take care, have yourselves a great day.